Marvin Gaye and Kim Weston dropped It Takes Two on August 25th, 1966. It Takes Two was a top 20 pop hit and a top five R&B hit for both artists. Um, it is Marvin Gaye's second duet album as well. And the most interesting thing about this album really isn't about Marvin Gaye. It's really about Kim Weston. Kim Weston left Motown after this record over a dispute about royalties at the urging of her husband, who actually produced this album and wrote It Takes Two as well. Um, it wasn't the sec first time that Kim Weston messed up. She also turned down Dancing in the Streets, which was a big, big hit for Martha and the Vandellas. So, um, while Kim Weston did return to music two years later with her album, it really didn't do much, and Kim Weston was gone and never to be seen again. Um, I mean, I think she actually joined Marvin on stage to uh, at a live concert in 1976, I think, but that was pretty much the it for her. Um, so anyway, uh, the noticeable tracks on here, besides the title cut, are, um, it's got to be a miracle, this thing called love. I really like that one. Um, uh, I love you. Yes, I do. Which was a remake of, uh, and I think Bull Johnson, Bull Moose Johnson re redid that one or did that one. And then James Brown redid that one, but it didn't really do anything for him. Um, the other one is Doris Day. It's Secret Love by Doris Day. And I've listened to far more Doris Day records. I've listened to a lot of Doris Day, y'all. Far more than I would really would care to admit. But um, but they did that one really good as well. Um, that one was a um, song that she did on the Calamity James soundtrack, and um, which I think was in the 50s. And I think the last one I want to talk about is um is uh uh till there was you that one was really really good and i think this one really had kim weston uh at at her finest i think she was i love the way she was singing on that one and the way she really approached and delivered that song uh it was it was it was fantastic I, both artists really uh, uh killed it on that one but kim was kim really stole the show to me and um the interesting thing about that one is that that is a, is of course a remake and the Beatles actually did that song, I think, in 1963. Uh, it was part of the demo tape to Decca. And that song is also, I'm trying to remember, a remake that they did off of a song that Anita Bryant did in 1950-something uh, from a, a Broadway musical or something like that. But anyway, um, and a couple of other people did it as well. But um, but yeah, I, I just think what, what Kim and Marvin did on this one was a uh, freaking fantastic, but um, those are the ones that I had. Those are the ones that stand out to me, and that was it. So uh, yeah, we're gonna leave it there, and we'll come back next time with the next album after this one.